Tajikistan's top election body declared Sunday's parliamentary election in the country valid, with more than 87% of eligible voters casting their votes. The party earlier said there had been minor violations to the poll which would not affect the will of the Tajik people. Opposition parties were swift in their criticism of the election, saying the vote was far from transparent. Early results give the People's Democratic Party of President Rahmon more than 70 percent of votes. Mr. Rahmon has been in office for the past two decades, and his party holds most of the seats in parliament. The results released today are for 22 seats decided through a party list system. The rest 41 seats are decided through votes in single mandate constituencies. Those results have yet to be announced. Tajikistan's main opposition party, the Islamic Revival Party, also criticized the poll as undemocratic and lacking in transparency. It said its monitors have registered numerous electoral violations, including multiple voting and interruption of the work of electoral observers and poll workers. This election proves once again that unfortunately in Central Asia and in our country Tajikistan, the governments are not ready to hold democratic and transparent elections. Monitors from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe and the European Parliament delivered their scathing report about the elections. We could see that there have been a relatively transparent process. On the other hand, uh, every fourth polling station had a serious uh, problems as far as the pr procedures, as far as the work in general, um, proxy voting, uh, existence of uh, um, people in uniforms uh, within these stations. So this is not exactly uh, what we would expect um, from the elections, which should be according to OECD standards. Since the party-based election system was introduced in 2000, each Tajik election has been criticized by the OSCE for failing to meet democratic requirements. Experts say Tajikistan has never held an election free, fair and transparent since its independence and the 28th of February vote would be a repetition of the history. Nasiba Muradova reporting for Press TV.